Welcome to another edition of the Weekend Storage Warrior. Well, here's another video I made about a very small unit that I purchased for $85 at a public auction. And it turned out to be a nice little unit. And here we are on the second floor. And here's the unit. Ta da! Well, that guy said something about a license plate. It's all clothing. Well, that doesn't look good at all. That one, that one there is sealed. Let's pop that one open. You hear a buzzing sound. That's the trimmer. It won't turn off. Oh, there it turned off. Gross. So, here's some shoes. They're leather. It just says air. It's not Nike air. <laughs> it's just air. Pillows, clothing, clothing, one more seal box, tape shut, HBO, I don't know what that is, no pictures, there's a set of headphones. Yeah. Well, I'll get it home and dig through it and show we find. And that's that. Well, at least that didn't take very long. This stuff is nice and clean, well packaged. Now all I gotta do is get it down the elevator. There it is, the whole thing. There's some guy down here idling a diesel. Like, oh yeah, I love the fumes. All right, here we are back in the cave. It's like a waterfall of power supplies falling out of there. And voila. There it is. It's different companies, Home Depot, A1. This one looks semi-interesting. So now it's all here. Just gotta dig through it, see what's in there. I think at least uh, half of this is clothing, at least. But it's clean. All right. Uh, we are going through the stuff. This one on the first find. This one here says 10 carat. Take these out of here and see if they're gold. The rest of this stuff, well, um, it's mostly clothing. There's a lot of stuff. There's some stuff from Boeing in here also. Boeing. Uh... Well, how about that? These are uh, testing out as 10 karat gold. Uh, the, these pin backs are not gold, but these are gold. That one looks like it's got a little emerald in it. So let's see how we did here. Come on, re zero. Zero point one, zero point one. Five point three grams. Yeah. You know, I just paid for this unit almost. A little bit of good luck for once. Okay, so I found gold. Yay. 
Now I'm going to get down to it. Uh, trash goes in the trash can. I'll save all the clothing. Here's a umbrella that looks like a duck. If I find something that looks like it might be valuable, I write down what it is so I can look it up. So this is some Statler Pores Point pens. Alright, so here I am sitting here looking up my things. Here is a 1967 New Schofield Wide Margin Reference Bible. And there it is. Sold on eBay. $59.95. Buy it now. That's good. Some Bibles are worth money. A lot of them, you know, it's, it's the most common book in the world. So, there's lots of them out there. But occasionally you do find one that's worth money. So this unit's looking just fine. I found gold, I found this, and uh, let's look up the rest of this stuff. Not terrible, 15 cents. That's all Boeing stuff. We'll show it here all at the end. Uh, a lot of nice clothes, uh, some sports jerseys. Belts. Anything like this, it's worn, or even a hint of a stain, it just goes right in the trash. But, uh, this person was a snappy dresser. Anyway. Okay, it is done. It took about three hours. So, this whole process is maybe taking seven hours, eight hours. So, let's go over what we found in this unit. First of all, out here, we have... Sports jerseys. That's Cal Ripken. Uh, Nike Cooperstown. Completed listing $30 on eBay. And a couple more. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Padres. These are all Izod's and George. Very high quality shirts. A lot of clothing here. This is dollar clothing. This is $5 clothing. Uh, Jackets, hoodies, nice stuff, all clean. Uh, here's a whole bunch of homemade movies that were burned on a computer. Uh, there was no computer. Uh, there's a whole bunch of jeans here, uh, just Wranglers and Rustlers, like 10, 12 pairs of those. Uh, here's a nice Bible, as noted, 50 bucks. Uh, Sony and JVC, five grams of gold. And I've got Boeing stuff. It's a sterling silver pendant or pin. Uh, some coins, 757, 787, Dreamliner. So, all in all, it's just gonna just fine. And a lamp, some shoes, and one, two, three milk crates of swap meat stuff. So here we are again, the old swap meet. Here over is leftover stuff that came from a different unit. This stuff down here is out of this last unit. And right now I've made uh, 50 bucks. The space cost 35. I'm up 15. And it's kind of nice when you got a collectible Bible in gold worth 100 already. Basically, anything I make from here on out is profit. So we'll see how we do. <coughs> Getting close to the end. We've got an hour to go. I sold about $50 in clothing today out of this unit. Um, in total, I sold $250. 
Uh, the swap meet tickets are 35. The unit cost 85. So that makes a quick profit of 130 dollars. Dead of money. Well, that was for and I still have Mr. Cal Ripkin out of this 85 dollar unit. I have a rare Bible and I have three gold pins. Good for another hundred. Easy. So let's say we made two hundred and thirty dollars on that eighty-five dollar unit. Not bad. A little bit better than the last one. The so things are looking up. Now some of that did come out of previous units and picking. And finally made back the money I spent on these DVDs at a yard sale. But most of it was out of the eighty-five dollar unit. So not complaining one bit. Alright. I think it's about time to wrap this movie up. So if you've watched my movies before, you know at the end I like to add up the profit that I've made. Uh, in this situation, uh, the cost was 120. I sold 230. For a quick profit of $110. Now, out of those sales, there was a laptop and a pocket watch that I had got picking which I included in the profit of my last video so that's not really fair so I think from now on the way I'm gonna count this I'll just do it straight sales not carry forward any forward future sales uh, that makes the pr uh, hourly rate on this six dollars an hour although I am going to include future sales of the gold and on eBay specific to this unit uh, I can drive down to my gold buyer and get seventy five dollars for that five grams of gold and I think conservatively on the uh, sports jersey and the Bible I'll get another fifty so that makes the total profit on this two thirty five on an eighty five dollar investment about twenty two hours of work a little more than ten sixty eight an hour a buck knife with a plastic handle what's the world coming to anyhow if you like to learn how to make money at storage auctions how to buy things how to sell things please feel free to buy a copy of my book the weekend storage warrior available on amazon.com and that's it for this movie bye bye